This is part nine of how to price an option uh, using a binomial tree. We are at the last step of valuing our option, but let me clarify certain things first. Here, this is a European option. So, in a European option case, the option will only be used at maturity. So, when I do the core formula, the maximum of 0 or S minus K, I only apply this formula at the last note. I do not need to do it in any other previous place, only at the very, very last on the far right because it's European. I only have a chance to use it and profit at the very end at this point in time. So that's why I only apply it at this very end uh, the other notes earlier, I do not use this formula because uh, I cannot exercise the option anyway, so I have no chance to profit, no need to apply that formula. Now we have our P and the U. Let us focus on doing one, going back one step first and see how this is done. So I'm looking at these two end spots. And my question would be, given uh, there's a probability of 0.5255 that the stock price end up at 146.4, at which case my option value is 36.4, there's also a 1 minus P chance, meaning a 0 0.74, a 4745 chance of the stock price moving down to 121 at which point my option value is 11. So I want to know, given these two, what's my option value at point 0.1 here? So here I look at how this is calculated. I'm doing a weighted by probability average of uh, my ending price. So here I have 36.4, which is my value here. If the stock price at 146.4 and my option value is 36.4, the probability of that is 0.5255, so that's my P. Plus, if the stock price had moved down to 121, the option value is 11, so that is my, my note 11, and the probability of that would be 0.4745. Two things added together is a probability weighted value of the call option at point one. Only one more thing to be added. Here, uh, the very last note is one time step later. Earlier, we calculated T was 2.25 months. So uh, the value here needs to be discounted back for two and a quarter month and this is where this comes in. E to the power minus RT so here E minus 0 0.05 that's my risk-free rate times T of one zero point one eight seven five. so I'm discounting the value of these two probability weighted amounts back to that time period. So this is the formula to apply to get the option value as of this time step, 20 or this note of 24.15. So this is an example of doing of going back one note using two notes from the future. Now, this is an example of me extending this. This was my one, which we have just done earlier. Uh, because we have do the calculation, I erase that. I do two other steps as an example. Two is the next step I have done. I'm looking at the same thing. So two is here. So I'm looking at 11, which is my probability here, the results, times probability of P, if it go up, 11. If it go down, I get 0. Probability is 1 minus P. So these two 
multiply together and add together will give me the probability weighted value of the call at this point discount back and I get 5.73 I extend this further I use these two to get the option value as of my note 3 here and it's calculated to be 15.26